As you know, here at Eurotrash, we like to talk about poo-poo. Not only do we like to talk about poo-poo, but we like to help you find creative things that you can do with poo-poo at home. In our first program, we showed you how to take mousse poo-poo and make lovely jewelry like this one. But we know it is difficult to find mousse poo-poo, so tonight we demonstrate what you can do with your very own personal poo-poo. That's right, Jean-Paul. Tonight we are going to teach our British chums how they can paint a picture with their very own homemade merde. Painting with your own poo-poo can be fun for the whole family, and it's a wonderful way for you, artist, to see exactly what you're made of. Eurotrash went to Paris in search of fine art. We couldn't find any, so we settled for crap art instead, courtesy of a Belgian painter named Jacques Lizane. Jacques took us to the local greengrocers to find materials for his next masterpiece. I, I want some red food, really red. There you go, mate. Nice red pepper. All peppered up, Jacques returns to his studio to prepare for the painting. But Jacques has never been a fan of traditional methods. Rather than squeezing a paint tube, he squeezes his cheeks for his art. I decided to become my own paint tube and paint with my crap. To make a painting with my own fecal matter, I have all the elements I need. You can see I have the crap pot with my crap in it, the scraper, as well as the spoon to handle the stuff. Now we can start. Jacques Lizane has been creating shit art since 1977. In order to achieve variations in colours, he varies his diet, eating spinach for a green tinge and peppers for a red one. All the paintings represent bricks in a wall. Selling for over £2,500 per square metre, Jacques' customised bricks are not to be sniffed at. This is very self-sufficient art. As you can see, I eat, I crap. I collect my crap, I paint and sell it, so I can then buy more food. It's, it's total self-sufficiency. 